Hello and welcome developers, my name is Shay and this is another episode of Shay Develops. Today we're going to be talking about JavaFX and this is going to be the first video in a in many videos where we're going to create an actual desktop application. A desktop application is going to just be something very simple where we're going to hit a button and it is going to create a workout for us based off of some data that we or some stuff that we input later on. Now. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is install JavaFX with, uh, to work with our IDE, and the IDE that I'm going to be using is IntelliJ. So the first thing you're going to do is go to gluonhq.com slash product slash JavaFX and download your version of the JavaFX SDK for the version of the operating system that you're using. So I'll be using Windows in this video. So I've went ahead and downloaded the Windows version. Now you may still be able to follow along totally fine uh, with some minor differences depending on the operating system that you're using. So feel free to go ahead and continue to follow along even if you're not using Windows. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click the download button, download your, uh, your JavaFX SDK. I've already went ahead and done that. So mine is right here. The second thing you're going to want to do is then create a, another folder where we're going to extract this Java SDK into so that way whenever we go and remember where it is because whenever we go and set this up with IntelliJ, IntelliJ is going to come back to it every time that we create another Java FX application. I went ahead and created one on my desktop. This is Java FX. You can put yours anywhere. Just put it somewhere where you're not going to delete it because you may delete it on accident one day and you'll be like hey I don't know what's going on so this is just where I put it for now but in my actual like uploaded version on on my my current work setup computer I put it someplace different but just for showing you guys for now we put it in the Java FX uh, desktop on the desktop so once you do that you're gonna come back to I went ahead skip step we're gonna come over here you're going to extract this and you're going to extract it into the folder that you've created. I've got ahead, went ahead and extracted mine right here. And then once you've done that, you're going to start IntelliJ. Go ahead and bring that right here. And then you're going to go to configure. And then mine's the third one down. Yours may be different depending on the version of IntelliJ you're using. But it says structure for new projects. I selected that. And then on the left side, you want to come down here to the global libraries and then hit this plus sign for new global library. And you see here, I've already done it, but I'm going to go ahead and hit plus and click on Java. Come down here, come down here to users, find OneDrive, desktop, and then Java FX. But don't select it yet, I'm just showing you so far and then come down here to lib and now what you're going to want to do is select all these jar files I just use the shift key to select the first one and then hold shift and down and click on the very last one to select them all and then you hit OK and then now you've went ahead and installed JavaFX and you may want to come up here like I said I've renamed mine JavaFX 11 because it's the version I was using and rename this to something that makes more sense to you. So after you're done with that, click OK and then click Apply. I'm going to click Cancel because I have already installed this and I don't need, I don't want to install a duplicate copy on here. And then you're going to go ahead and create a new project and then give it a name. But also make sure that you're selecting now JavaFX. If this doesn't show up, you may need to restart your uh, IntelliJ in order to get this to show up but I'm going to go ahead and select JavaFX click next and create a new project should be JavaFX hello world and click finish and then now we are here make all this a little bigger but this really doesn't matter right at the moment fix this Windows Defender thing real fast. All right. Sorry about that, but now that that's fixed, we can move on. 
you'll notice here that we've got some files created automatically for us we have a sample.fxml which is loaded right here with the FX, excuse me, fxml loader and then we have our fxml file which is an xml file uh, used for javafx this is where we're going to be creating our uh, the actual GUI application the controller is where we're going to be messing around with the with the data that's coming in and coming out and we'll be you can make multiple controllers and then your main this is just where your, your program is actually going to be loaded so once you have all this you can go here and mess mess with some things you can mess with the title your width and height and that'll change the size of the application so we can go ahead and run it though with me it's going to be just shift f10 and we should have a in just a second right here we have a program that says hello world and there is absolutely nothing on it which is totally fine because we don't have anything but if we go ahead and say we wanted to go ahead and make the width of 600 and a height of 500 and we'll call this workout creator and then run this again you now notice that it says workout creators because they put an S on it for some reason but it's also 600 by 500 pixels and that is your very first hello world Java FX desktop application now we're going to be diving into this even further we're going to be talking about layouts and data binding and and uh, inputs and outputs and, and all kinds of stuff so stay tuned for more in-depth videos as they come out so please hit that like, comment, subscribe. Tell me guys what y'all are working on right now. I'd love to hear from you, how I can help you in the future and how I can do better. Like, uh, Cause really I'm trying to do this for you guys and just teach people how to, uh, you know, be coders, be programmers. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hope y'all have an awesome day. Got amazing people. Peace, take care.